Hey guys, today we are going to look at identifying functions. We're going to determine how to tell if a relation is a function. So what is a function? A function is a relationship where each input only has one output. Kind of like a Coke machine. If you press a button, you expect to get whatever you press. If there are repeating x values or repeating input values, then that means it's not a function. And then for graphs, we use something called the vertical line test. If the graph is a function, it will pass the vertical line test. This means that any vertical line drawn on the graph will only intersect the graph one time. If the vertical line intersects the graph more than one time, then it is not a function. So now we're gonna determine if the relationships below are a function or not and explain why. So if we look at this first relation, I have some repeating fours in the x values and I have some repeating twos. So that makes this not a function because there are repeating x values. All right, let's look at number two. So my x values are negative seven, negative six, negative five, and negative four. Notice I did not look at the y values at all. Those don't matter in a function, we just look at the x values. And this one is a function because all of the x's are different. We don't have any repeating x values. All right, let's look at number three for graphs. We use the vertical line test. So if I draw a vertical line through my graph, notice how it's only hitting each point one at a time. So that means that this is a function because it passes the vertical line test. All right, number four, this one, if I do the vertical line test, it definitely fails the vertical line test. It is hitting my graph more than once there, so that makes this not a function because it fails the vertical line test. All right, let's look at number five. So the only part of the graph where it looks like it might not pass the vertical line test is right here where we have two dots on top of each other. So this closed circle, that means that that point is included. This open circle, since we have an open circle, that means that this point is not included. So this is a function because it passes the vertical line test because one of the dots in the vertical line is open. If that had been closed, then it would not have passed the vertical line test. But since it is open, it does pass the vertical line test because there's really only one point that works right there. All right, number six. So this one, I have two closed points on top of each other. So that one makes this not a function because it fails the vertical line test. Okay, number seven, we have a mapping. So I'm gonna look to see that each of my inputs X only has one output coming from it, which it does. So this is a function, each input has one output. Okay, if we look at number eight, we can see that this input five has more than one output coming from it. So that right there is what makes this not a function because we have an input five with more than one output. Okay, number nine, we have a vertical line. A vertical line does not pass the vertical line test because we have multiple points in a vertical line.
And number 10, we have a horizontal line that is going to pass the vertical line test. When I draw my vertical lines, it only hits the vertical line once. So this is a function because it passes the vertical line test.